be to the glory be to the lord god almighty the mighty one the god the el elohim jehovah father lord we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration this morning we bow down before you lord we lift our voice and rejoice O lord we bow before our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, this morning. We say glory be to your name, O Lord. We thank you, our Father and our God, for your, you are mighty God. You are the Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, because you know all. You are over all. You are stronger than all and everything combined. Lord, we praise you for your power, for your strength and your might. We humbly bow before you, Lord, this morning to honor you, to give you your right, put you in your rightful place in our life as the Elohim Jehovah. Thank you, Father, Lord. Lord, gracious Father, thank you, Lord. Come and take your place, Lord, in our life this morning. Come, O oh Lord God Almighty, magnify your name, O oh Lord. Honor your name, Lord, this morning in our life, in the name of Jesus. Let your name be praised, Father, Lord. For you alone are worthy of all praise, all adoration, for calling us to prayer and to power this morning. Oh, Father, we give you glory. We give you glory, Lord, for sustaining us throughout the night, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you. Gracious Father, we do ask you, Lord, that we pardon our iniquity. Pretty Lord, because there are many, Father, Lord, we we ask you, Lord, anything that will hinder us this morning, as we, your children, have come into your presence, Father, Lord, we ask for the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this morning, we want to see you. We want you to reveal your power in our life, oh Lord. Oh God, because you are Jehovah, the mighty God, the relational God. Lord, walk with us this morning. Take our hand, oh Lord, and lead us, oh Father God. Teach us to love like you did. Teach us to walk in your strength and your might, oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your spirit that lives within us. We are your children, and we can access your strength through your spirit's presence. Lord, thank you, mighty Father. Lord, thank you, Lord, this morning for what you are going to do in our midst. And yes, Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name for our brothers and our sisters that need to wake up this morning to come into your presence together with us. Lord, we ask in the spirit, we cook in them. And for those of us who are logging in already, Father, Father, we pray that your spirit will keep us alert. We come against every spirit of, of sleepiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of weariness will come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask this morning, will there be any power that is, has been assigned over this prayer line this morning? Gracious Father God, let that power be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been programmed into the sun, into the moon, concerning today's gathering lord jehovah god by the power and the blood of jesus christ let it be nullified in the name of jesus christ holy spirit divine come and take your place this morning we have come into our father's presence who always spread the table before us to die with us so father we pray that you will give us the appetite oh lord this morning because there are sometimes oh lord when the food there will be no appetite but lord this morning give us the appetite to oh Lord for your word, O oh Lord. Give us the appetite, O oh Lord, to want to hear you, to seek you, to want to look after after your goodness, your mercy, Father Lord. Oh, Father Lord, give us the appetite, the holy appetite, O oh Lord, for you and for your word this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, in our song, we want to declare that, yes, Lord, indeed, our faith has found a resting place, not in any man, not in any creed, but to you, Lord, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be to your name. Father, we pray that your spirit will continue to engrave this truth into our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let us sing, My faith has found the right in place.
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, indeed. There is no other argument. What can we argue about? That the Lord Jesus Christ, that shed his blood on the cross of Calvary, died and he rose again. Thank you, Lord. We do not have any other argument. Oh, it is enough that he died for us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us declare that, yes, as they did in the old time, they are still doing it. They are still raging against the Lord, our Savior. So let us declare Psalm 2 this morning. Open your Bible to Psalm 2 and read it. Psalm 2 Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we are blessed. Hallelujah. Because we have taken refuge in the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, our Lord and our Savior. And he said, the Lord has declared, he has declared his son as the one and the only king over the earth. The uttermost part of the earth belongs to him. So therefore, this morning, let us pray that, my Father, glorify Jesus in my life, glorify Jesus in my family, because he's the Lord. You have declared him the king, and you have promised that you will give him. You say, ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the end of the earth your possession. So, Lord God Almighty, because you have given him everything and all things, Lord, I'm asking, glorify Jesus in my life, glorify Jesus in my family, glorify Glorify Jesus in my nation. Glorify Jesus in my ministry, Lord, this morning. Let Jesus be glorified, O Lord. Let Jesus be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Glorify Jesus, Lord, in my life, Lord, this morning. Because, O Lord, you have given him everything, O Lord. You have declared your son as the only one, the only king over the earth. The uttermost part of the heart belongs to him. So, Lord, glorify glorify Jesus in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, you break those who war against you, shattering them like a, a clay vessel. Lord, this morning, let your grace work powerfully among us. Let your grace work powerfully among us, O oh Lord. This day, Lord, let your grace work powerfully among us in the name of Jesus. You are the God of grace, the power mighty God, the powerful God. Lord, this day, let your grace work powerfully among us, among our children, every member of our household, O oh Lord. Let your grace work powerfully among us in the name of Jesus on this prayer platform, Father Lord. Let your grace work powerfully among us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that, Lord. As I do your bidding today, let me be filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, as I do your bidding today, let me be filled with joy and of joy and with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, as I do your bidding today, let me be filled with joy 
and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, fill me with joy this morning. There's nothing wrong asking because in the presence of the Lord, there's great joy. There are pleasure forevermore. Lord, we have come into your presence this morning. Oh, Lord, my Father, let me be filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Declare that today, I gain access by the help of the Holy Spirit into the presence of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, today I gain access by the help of the Holy Spirit into the presence of God. I have come into the presence of the Lord mighty God this morning. By the help of the Holy Spirit, I gain access into the presence of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray that my Father, let your glory come down upon us in a new way in the name of jesus christ upon us in this prayer ministry father lord let your glory come down upon us in a new way in the name of jesus christ upon us as a family upon us as an individual upon us as a group oh father lord this day we ask let your glory come down oh lord our god let your glory come down upon this prayer altar in the name of jesus christ wherever you are this morning is your prayer altar. Pray that, Lord, let your glory come down upon this altar in the name of Jesus, in a new way, upon my prayer altar. Father, Lord, let your glory come down upon my prayer altar, in a new way, upon my family prayer altar, in a new way, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let your glory come down upon our altar this morning, upon our prayer altar, in a new way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pray that, Lord, as we pray to you as an individual and as a, as a group, that none of us or we miss the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, that our prayer will not be in vain. It will not just be a shout, shout, but to have a relationship with you. Oh Father, Lord, I pray as we pray as a group, oh Lord, and as an individual, that none of us will miss the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. That none of us will miss the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our God, we pray that Father, Lord, as we pray as a group, as we pray as an individual that none of our of our, any one of us a participant in this prayer ministry we miss the kingdom in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let us ask the lord that father god pour your spirit upon us and remove all sports and idols in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father God, this morning, pour your spirit upon us and remove all sports and idols in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, pour your spirit upon us this day and remove all sports and idols in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, pour your spirit upon us and remove all sports and idols in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. As the Lord Lord, that my father, take away stony heart from us and give us a heart of flesh and a new spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, for my children, for my grandchildren, for every member of my household, take away stony heart from us and give us a heart of flesh and a new spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, mighty Father, this morning we lift ourselves before you. Take away a stony heart from us, O oh Lord, and give us a heart of flesh and a new spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that our Father, our God, take us to your refinery and purify us circumcise us, refine us until we become a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, take us to your refinery and your purifier and circumcise us, refine us until we become a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, take us to your refinery and purifier and circumcise us, refine us until we become a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus Christ.
Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Every demons of my father's house in my bloodline, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you in the name of Jesus to be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my father, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, flush out every demons of my father's house in my bloodline, in my children's bloodline, in the name of Jesus Christ, every demons of my father's house, in the name of Jesus Christ, be flushed out, be flushed out, in the name of Jesus Christ, and you can pray, you demons of my father's house, you mention your father's now, your father's house, if you are married, you mention your own maiden name, okay, you mention that you demons of my father's house, abide you, come out, in the name of Jesus Christ, you demons of my father's house, you know, my maiden name is Ogunleye, you demons of Ogunleye, I bind you, come out, in the name of Jesus Christ, you demons of Ogunleye, that is my maiden name, I bind you, come out, in the name of Jesus Christ, so you pray, you use your maiden name, if you are a woman, you're married, use your maiden name. Don't use your husband's name, name that you are bearing. Use your maiden name. Pray that you demons of my father's house in my bloodline come out in the name of Jesus Christ. You demons of my father's house come out in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus, you demons of my father's house in the name of Jesus Christ. In my blood, in the name of Jesus, come out in Jesus' name. Amen ancestral spirit of my father's house vomit me and die by fire in the name of jesus christ ancestral spirit of my father's house vomit me vomit me and die in the name of jesus christ ancestral spirit of my father's house vomit me and die in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen arrows of sexual perversion Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus Christ. Arrows of sensual perversion. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us were married, but we still hook up by pornography. And some of us, you know, we're doing some other things that I'm not even able to mention. This morning, pray. You know, you may not be taking, you know, like our young ones, taking one boyfriend, two boyfriends, you know, girlfriend, you know doing all kinds of of immorality this morning is not it may not just be ordinary pray that arrows of sexual perversion go back to your sentence in the name of jesus in my life in the life of my children in the life of my grandchildren by the power and the blood of jesus Christ, every arrows of sexual perversion in any form in any shape this morning go back to your senders in the name of jesus Christ. arrows of sexual perversion go back to your senders in the name of jesus Christ. every arrows of sexual perversion in the name of the lord jesus Christ. go back to your sender in the name of jesus Christ. In Jesus name amen As mercy of God follow me now and move my life forward in the name of Jesus Christ mercy of God follow me now and move my life forward in the name of Jesus Christ mercy of God follow me now and move my life forward move my life forward in the name of Jesus Christ mercy of God you are the God of mercy oh God Almighty let the mercy of God fall upon me fall upon my children and move our life forward in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen Amen. Let us pray that my father, let all my overdue answers begin to locate me speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my father, let all my overdue answers begin to locate me speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all my overdue answers begin to locate me speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all my children's overdue answers begin to locate them speedily in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of delay I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of delay I bind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every spirit of delay I bind you in the life of my children I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen the negative calendar in the second heaven 
over my destiny be destroyed be destroyed by the fire of god in the name of jesus christ the negative calendar in the second heaven over my destiny over my children's destiny in the name of jesus christ be destroyed be destroyed today be destroyed today in the mighty name of jesus christ i cry against you today the negative calendar in the second heaven over my destiny over my children's destiny be destroyed be destroyed in in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. My blessings in the second heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, be forced down, come down. In the name of Jesus Christ, my blessing in the second heaven, and again in the second heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come down. Come down in the name of Jesus Christ. My blessings in the second heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Come down today. Come down today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us go and encourage ourselves again from the word of God. And this morning, we're going to read from First Timothy. Paul encouraging Timothy, giving Timothy the final charge, asking Timothy, and I believe is asking of this morning. He read from chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. 12 is where I'm going to, I don't like reading from the middle. So, verse 11, it says, but you, man of God, woman of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. We are to flee from certain things, which you already mentioned before, but we are to pursue. So faith is one of the things we should pursue. Do you get it now? It's not going to, you know, it's not going to say, oh, here am I, you know, I'm yours. No, we have to pursue it. We know as you pursue what you desire. Some of us, this morning, you have to be at work because you're pursuing that dollar. You Because you know you want to buy this. You, want, you know you want to pay your rent. You know you want to do this, do this. And you know you must go to work. You pursue it. Even some of us, when we are sick, instead of resting, we just take a tally on and we move on we, because we must do it at all cost. That is the same thing. When it comes to faith, faith is part of what we must pursue. And it says, fight the good fight. Paul uses active and forceful verb to describe this Christian life. Flee, pursue, fight, take hold. Can you imagine? In just one, uh, two verses, we find all that. You flee, you pursue, you fight, and you take hold. So it's not enough for you to just flee. No, you must pursue. And it's not enough for you to pursue. You must fight. And then when you fight, you take hold of it. You take hold of it. And faith is one of those. Something that Christianity is a passive religion that advocates waiting for God to act. But we must have an active faith, training, working on, sacrificing, and doing what we know is right. It 
Is it time for action on your part? Christian service, like athletics, requires training and sacrifice. So even for that fit, you must train. That is why you, 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 you have to act, take the little, little step. Our discipline and obedience largely define whether or not we will be contributors or merely spectators. How will other believers rank your contributing role on the Christian's team? Well, you know we are a team together. And you are just the one watching, you know. How will they, you know, rank you, your role, your contributor in your family? Every day, we have all kinds of inner struggles in our life. And I call them the struggles of faith. And we must remember that these struggles are aimed at weakening our faith. The spiritual resistance against us are not aimed solely at our physical bodies. No, they are not. They are targeted at our faith. Yes, of course. When you are sick, it's your body that is under attack. When you are in need, it's your finance that is under attack. But the real goal of the devil is to steal your faith. That is why we must pursue, fight, and take up. The devil wants you to, be, to come to a point where you say, it's no use praying. It's not working. God doesn't love me. This whole faith thing is confusing. I'm done with it. That is what the devil wants you to say. The devil prays on your faith. That is his greatest target. Your faith is your biggest asset. And that is why the apostles say to fight the good fight of faith. Without a fighting spirit, you won't lay hold of eternal life, salvation, healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Without a fighting spirit, you will lose your faith. So, this morning, how do you fight the fight of faith? Let me mention just few. First of all, you know, before you go to the fight, Recognize that there is a fight against your faith. You just must recognize it. You must come to time with it. That there is a fight against your faith. Number two, recognize that your mind is the battleground. Your mind is the battleground. See, when you win the battle in your mind, the victory is yours already. So our mind is the battleground. We must also recognize that your weapon of victory is the word of God. The weapon that you have is the word of God. And then you continually and aggressively confess the word of God and you use it to repel the devil when he tries to play his lies in your mind. There's no way, no other thing. The word of God, the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. That is the offensive weapon we have been given. The word of God. You use it to repel the devil when he tries to play his lies in your mind. Recognize. You'll fight the battle when you recognize that your mind is the workshop where the products and materials that build your life are manufactured. Your mind. Your mind. When surges of negative thought try to overwhelm you, 
recognize that this is a fight of faith. Find the scripture that addresses the specific thoughts welling up there and start shouting them. You shout them. You declare them. Don't just wait and play a gentleman or gentlewoman. We are in spiritual battle, spiritual warfare. And no gentleman comes back alive from war. No. No gentlewoman comes back alive from war. We must fight. You know, sometimes if you know if you are close to me, you will see me. Sometimes I may be talking, you will think that I'm talking to myself. No, because sometimes I will be quoting the scripture and then because I know what is going on in my mind. I don't care what other people say because that is their business. I have to win the war and so must you. You must win the war. Have the word of God with you. Fight. This morning, we are called to be soldiers. We are supposed to flee all that things, but pursue, take hold, fight and take hold. So before you can take hold, what you are waiting for, you must fight. And it is my prayer. When we begin to fight, we will not be a casualty in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will not be because already we are fighting from the place of victory. Okay, Christ has won the battle for us. That is the confidence that we have. So this morning, let us pray. That my father, I thank you for teaching me that there is a fight against my faith. And that my mind is the battleground. Oh Lord, my father, I thank you for teaching me that there is a fight against my faith. And that my mind is the battleground. I thank you for reminding me that your word is our ultimate victory weapon. My Father, I thank you for reminding me that your word is our ultimate victory weapon. I decree that I am winning all the battles projected against me. I decree I am winning all the battles projected against me. I am excelling in my faith and breakthrough. This day, in the name of Jesus, I decree that I am winning all the battles projected against me. I am excelling in my faith and breakthrough. I command my mind and my thoughts to cooperate with the Lord henceforth and stay focused on God's plan and purpose for my life. This day, I command my mind and my thoughts to cooperate with the Lord henceforth and stay focused on God's plans and purpose for my life. I decree that the door of my mind is at this moment closed to thoughts of failure, sickness, death, and fear in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the door of my mind is at this moment closed to thoughts of failure, closed to sickness, to death and fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the door of my children's mind is at this moment closed to thoughts of failure, thoughts of sickness, death and fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. Let us go to for our prayer request. If you are just joining us for the first time, we bring two prayer requests for this season that we're doing facing the future with faith. Two prayer requests that we're praying in on every morning for the next 21 days. And this is our eighth day. Thank you for joining us. So let us pray this morning. And we'll be praying the name of God. 
then we know that God has been doing wonderful things. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to read from Daniel chapter 3, 26. <clears throat> Daniel 3, 26. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abdingo, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abdingo come out of the fire. We're talking about the Most High God, El Elyon, the Most High God this morning, the God that was with his children, the God, the God of fire, that answered by fire, the God that did not allow the air, the, the fire to consume these three Hebrew children, El Elyon, the Most High God. Let us adore him this morning. Let us pray that my father, with this my request, I declare that you are the most high God. The most high God, I give you praise. El Elyon, I give you praise. I praise you in your sanctuary. I praise you in your mighty expanse. I praise you in your sanctuary. I praise you in your mighty expanse. I praise you for your awesome deeds according to your excellent greatness. I praise you, almighty God. Oh, Father Lord, El Elyon, I praise you for your awesome deeds according to your excellent greatness. I praise you with music, song, and words of adoration. I praise you with music, song, and words of adoration. My soul makes its boast in you, El Eon. My soul makes it boast in you, El Eon, the Most High God. I bless your name today. I will forget none of your benefits. Lord, El Eon, I bless your name today. I will forget none of your benefits. You hold the power in your hand to keep the flames of life's trial from scorching me. Hallelujah. You hold the power in your hand to keep the flames of life's trial from scorching me. You have the power to save. I will not fear what man can do because you are El Elyon, the Most High God. I will not fear what man can do because you are El Aeon, the Most High God. El Aeon. I see the smoke. I begin to tremble when life's troubles surround me. Whether in my work, in my health, in my finances, in my family, or even in myself. I see the smoke. True anxiety, worry, or fear. Yet you are El Aeon, the Most High God. And you know, when even a hair falls from my head, you protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abdingo when they were tossed to their certain death. But that sentence of death became the promise of life as you intervene. Forgive me, El Aeon, for looking only at what I can see, things that seem so certain to harm me physically or emotionally, rather than looking at you. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Because you are the most high God. Forgive me, Father. El Elyon, the most high God, receive my heart of gratitude for being the most high God. Accept my spirit of gratefulness 
for holding my word together in the palm of your hand. With this situation that I'm facing, I know you have everything in control. El Elyon, the Most High God. You are patient, kind, and gentle. Yet, you are also powerful, mighty, and strong. Thank you for showing me time and again that you are over all and for delivering me from the snares of the enemy. Oh, El Elyon, thank you for showing me time and again that you are over all and for delivering me from the snare of the enemy. I thank you for this situation that I'm facing. You are my deliverer, the most high God. The fire will not burn me. The fire will not burn my family. El Aeon, you are the God that saved from the fire. So Lord, this look like a fire now. This request that I'm asking, look to me, it look like a fire, it's burning. But you deliver from the fire. So Lord, I present, intervene, as you did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Show forth your mighty power, the most high God. El Eyon, I ask you to manifest your powerful might within me more and more each day. Because I need this request. Manifest your powerful might within me more and more each day. Too often, I look to myself when I get into a difficult situation. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I see the flames. But so often I become fearful. Help me instead to look to you, the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. El Elyon, help me. Instead, instead of looking, instead of becoming so fearful about the flames, help me instead to look at you, the everlasting God, the creator of the earth of the earth. You are not only the creator God, you are El Aeon, most high. You do not faint or grow weary. Your understanding is uns unsearchable. The most high God, you do not faint or grow weary. Your understanding is unsearchable. Give me power when I feel faint and increase my strength when I am weak. El Elyon, the most high God, give me power when I feel faint and increase my strength when I am weak. Help me to wait well on you as the young Hebrews did in the midst of the roaring flames. Help me to wait well on you as the young Hebrews did in the midst of the roaring flame. They fought the good fight of faith. Help me, Lord, to fight the good fight of faith. Not to give in, but to stand firm and that you will prove yourself as the most high God. El Elyon. So, Lord, with this prayer request, answer your name. Answer your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our God, this morning, answer your name, Lord, as we leave this prayer request unto you, Lord, this morning. Answer your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Begin to thank the Lord that it is done. These three children, Hebrew children, they put their faith in the Lord and they were not disappointed. I put my faith. My faith is resting on you, Lord, and I will not be disappointed. Thank you for answering me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, 
we're going to pray move on to our intercessory session we're going to pray for career those who are looking for job those who have an interview or no, those who have a professional exam to do everyone we're going to ask the lord to come to their aid this morning psalm 119 verse 99 said i have more understanding than all my teachers for their testimonies are, medit are my meditation let us praise the lord for his power and his mercy upon the life of those of our brothers and sisters and upon your life if you are the one this morning praise the name of the lord for his power and his mercy upon your life for the opportunity and the power to be what you are and for what he will do to move your life forward through this you know this examination for those of us who are doing examination or through the the, the interview and for those who have interview or those who have a job appointment or those who are looking for promotion pray that this morning father lord i thank you i praise your name and for your power and for your mercy upon the life of my brothers and my sisters for the opportunity and for the power to for them to be what where they had this morning oh gracious father we thank you for what you are going to do to move each life forward through this examination for those who are doing examination oh lord for those who have job interview lord we leave them all before you this morning we're asking you father lord the opportunity you are giving to them lord we pray that we help them oh lord in the name of jesus christ let us pray that would there be any sin either known or unknown that will hinder them this morning let us pray that god almighty god of mercy we cleanse them in the name of jesus christ father lord we stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters oh lord who will be going for a job interview or sitting for one exam or the other or who have job or uh, you know promotion lord this morning this morning father will there be any sin in their life we're asking you father either no 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 that the blood of jesus christ will wash and cleanse them in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen let us pray that the holy spirit with the senior teacher we come into their and give them understanding in the name of Jesus Christ so that they will retain essential things. Those who are studying, you know, some of them are still studying to go for the exam or for the interview. That Holy Spirit, this morning we call upon you to come into the understanding of our brethren this morning and open their brain to retain essential things in the name of Jesus Christ for our students, for our students this morning, whether they are doing the final exam so that they can go or they some of them are doing the technical exam so that they can enter into it to another higher institution pray this morning that lord god almighty the senior teachers which is the holy spirit let it come to their head this morning give them understanding open their brain to retain essential things in the name of jesus father lord give our students oh lord mighty father in the name of jesus and even our workers oh lord those that are looking for employment oh lord they do doing the examination professional exam lord give them oh lord to retain essential things and bring it to their remembrance oh lord when they are doing this exam in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen i claim the power to accept above my equals in the name of jesus christ father lord we stand in the cup of our brethren for their career in various career lord god almighty that they will excel in the name of jesus christ lord make them to excel by your divine power in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen for those who are going for examination pray that lord let divine wisdom divine knowledge and understanding without measure be their lord in the name of jesus christ father lord god almighty this morning lord for those our brethren who are going for examination or preparing for examination lord we ask him that divine knowledge divine wisdom and understanding will be their measure in the name of jesus christ will be upon them in the name of jesus christ for those who are looking for job appointment lord this morning father lord our god we pray 
pray the mighty God that you will come to their aid in the name of Jesus Christ. That anointing for supernatural sources will fall upon them this morning in the name of Jesus Christ upon their career in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, mighty Father, we pray, Lord, for each career, oh Lord, that is represented, oh Lord, by individual this morning. We are asking you for our children's career that, Lord, you will catapult them into higher place in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove their name from the book of failure and stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. Career-wise, in the name of Jesus, we remove, remove your name, remove your children's name, remove the name of our brothers and our sisters from the book of failure and stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove my name, my children's name from the book of failure and stagnancy in the area of career in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For those of us who have our career, dedicated to the Lord this morning. Dedicated to the Lord that God be glorified in this career, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, you have opened the door of this career for me. Lord, be glorified in my career. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Be glorified, Lord, in this career, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. I war against the spirit of failure and I pull down the stronghold of defeat in the life of our children in our career in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus I war against the spirit of failure and I put down the stronghold of defeat in our career in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I war against the spirit of failure and I put down the stronghold of defeat in our life in our career in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen Amen for those who are looking for promotion, pray this morning that every answer, progress, altar, fashion against my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every answer, progress, altar, fashion against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that is standing in the way of our promotion, of our children's promotion this day in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire of God. Destroy it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that, Lord, arise and scatter. Every anti-breakthrough or device assigned against my sources. Amen. And our children's sources this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. For our brothers and our sisters that are looking up to you, Lord. Sources in their career. This morning, Father Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit will arise, O oh Lord, and scatter every answer, breakthrough device aside against their sources, career sources in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise, scatter every answer, breakthrough device assigned against the sources of our career in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen amen let us pray that the Holy Spirit will have his way and lead lead us in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit have your way in our career in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit have your way in our career in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit have your way in our career in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen all my imprisoned and buried potential Comfort in the name of Jesus Christ concerning my career. All my imprisoned and burial potential comfort concerning my children's career, concerning our brothers and our sister's career. All imprisoned and burial potential comfort in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray for the person who is looking for a job this morning that, oh God Almighty, you will order their step, oh Lord, that they will be able to go and to the right place in the name of Jesus Christ. If they have submitted their application, let us pray that their application, wherever they are hidden this morning, that the Lord God Almighty will go there for them and bring it up 
in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will find favor. Oh, favor of God. We pray, oh Lord, for those who are looking for job. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Some will have job, but the job they have is not comparable to the, the, the certificate they have. They're not able to use their certificate for that job. Let us pray that God Almighty will make a way for them so that they can use their certificate for job. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hand that is covering that certificate will be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand on our certificate, on our children's certificate, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted up, be lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand upon the certificate of our children, or our brothers and our sisters, in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted up in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that, Lord, let the gates of increase and multiple blessings be opened unto me from above. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, let the gate of increase and multiple blessing be opened unto me from above. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let the gates of multiple blessing be opened unto us, unto our children this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, mighty Father. For you favor us. The blessing of the Lord may increase and add no sorrow. Thank you, mighty Father. For it is the Lord who blesses the righteous and surround him with favor as it is shed. We bless your name, Lord, this morning. For surrounding us, surrounding our children, our family with your blessing. Blessed be to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Uh, yesterday, I made the mistake of putting uh, wrong date recording. The one I record was wrong, so but I already replaced it. So go back and listen to yesterday's message if you did not. God bless us in Jesus' name. It's on YouTube.